On the banks of the Negro River in the middle of the Amazon jungle, you can hear the echoing sound of men at work. The sky is lit up with the bright sparks of welders, welding iron to pipes, panels, cylinders, and giant tanks. Iron, sand, stones, and state-of-the-art equipment are coming together to create a scenario that will illuminate the life of thousands of people. Three power plants are being constructed on the outskirts of Manaus. These plants will increase electrical energy generation and help supply the capital of the state of Amazonas. The city has grown unplanned and nowadays 1.6 million people suffer with constant power instability and shortages. The state's hydroelectric power plant, the Balbina plant, constructed in the city of Presidente Figueiredo, 107 kilometers away from Manaus, has the capacity to generate 230 megawatts, but has reached its limit. Larger than Balbina's hydroelectric power plant is the need for alternative sources of energy. Based on this need, the local government launched a bid to construct fuel-based thermoelectric power plants. Their greatest demand, fast construction and execution. Prazo muito curto, em seis meses, a partir do momento da assinatura do contrato. Então é um desafio muito grande, não só para mim, mas para todo mundo que está envolvido nessa obra. Né? Mais de 700 empregados trabalhando aqui diariamente. Então é, é um prazer, é um prazer e é um desafio. Three distinct Brazilian investor groups, Gera, Rio Amazonas, and Manoara, have won the bids and subcontracted the services of Wartzilla Corporation. This Finnish company is a global leader in the construction, operation, and maintenance of thermoelectric power plants and propulsion engines for large ships. And it has brought from Europe not only the engines, considered the heart of the power plants, but also generators, systems for fuel treatment, vapor generation, gas emission, catalyzers for pollution reduction, as well as part of the specialized labor needed to construct the power plants. Finnish Leaf Smets coordinates the construction of the three power plants in Manaus. Of course, I, I have a good help of uh, a lot of good, good employees, three good site managers on each site, and good supervisors, and um, of course, good assistants, etc. So it's going pretty well. After the longest phase, which was choosing the site, leveling the bases and foundation, it's time to construct the project. Let's follow the construction of two power plants, Cristiano Rocha and Pointe Negra. Cristiano Rocha power plant is situated on Highway BR-174, kilometer 10. The construction on this site began in March of 2006, and the pace is accelerating. The engines are already installed. Now it's the mechanical assembly stage. The operators work intensely to put together the electric panels and the metallic structure. They assemble the pipes and ducts and connect them to the giant fuel tanks. Essas usinas termoelétricas, a construção é muito rápida. Então normalmente é sempre correndo contra o tempo, porque os prazos são muito apertados e é sempre uma corrida diária. É os 100 metros diários da gente. The day's most difficult maneuver is the assembly of the chimneys. The metallic structure weighs 12 tons. It's a detailed and dangerous job. Any mistakes and the entire work could be put at risk. On the top of the tower, the operators position themselves. We call this teamwork. The crane operator is ready for the coordinates. The communication between them is through radio. Position here, a symbol there, and the team of collaborators executes the challenge with perfection. For the crane operator, Raimundo Alberto Maia, even with the smaller crane, each operation is always a challenge. If you err, the lavant can cause a fall in the carga. You have to be careful, without stress, also without perturbation. The man has to be calm in the operations. Tá tranquilo nas operações. 20 kilometers away from here, another team is executing the construction of the second power plant, Pointe Negra. The Wartzilla team and the operators are now rushing to follow the schedule. The metallic structures and pipes are ready. 
Within the lifted tower, five chimneys still need to be installed. The substation has not yet started to be constructed, and there are only a few mechanical parts ready. It's the place where the engines that have not yet arrived will be installed. The main concern is to cover the metallic structure with the panels. The work requires maximum attention without putting at risk the structure and the group of collaborators. Everyone here wears personal safety equipment, which helps provide protection in case of an accident. Cristiano Rocha power plant, the construction has been accelerated within the past two weeks. The five chimneys are already in place. The area's cleanliness is visible. The construction access roads are free. The substation that a few days ago looked like this is now almost ready to roll. Only a few details are missing. The connecting pipes that a few weeks ago were only hanging are already connected to the engines. The structure that houses the engines is already covered. O ritmo é esse mesmo, o prazo máximo de construção, eu acredito que em nove meses é o prazo máximo para construir uma usina e vamos estar dentro da meta. Ao final do dia você vê uma, o progresso enorme, né? como vocês podem ver aqui atrás, os radiadores estão quase prontos, há 15 dias não tinha isso aqui. Os day tanks estão praticamente prontos e a parte de erguimento das estruturas do engine hall, que é o local onde vai ficar os motores, também está bem avançado. Throughout the past two weeks, the work has flown much faster on Ponte Negra power plant. The construction is well advanced, but there is still a lot to do. Under a very hot sun, the operators work non-stop. Their day begins at 7 a.m. and doesn't end until 7 p.m. With this intense schedule, the operators were able to cover the building's metallic structure and also to start assembling the roof. During this first week of September, the pipes are being assembled. More than 100 operators are working on this stage of the construction. Adelson Parente is a plumber and has been on the construction site for four months. For him, it's pleasant to know that in a few months, his work will transform the lives of several people. Tudo que a gente faz com gosto sai bom. Fez parte do meu trabalho. É muito bonito, é gostoso, né? Fica uma história na vida da gente, sai. The two power plants are scheduled to be ready, preferably before the rainy season, which begins in December in the state of Amazonas. Because of this, the construction is accelerated more each consecutive week. Pipe by pipe, structure by structure, the mission of these restless warriors is to implement power plants in the middle of the world's largest tropical forest to supply the increasing energy demand of Manaus Industrial Pole, which houses 700 companies, and to illuminate the nights and lives of inhabitants of Brazil's largest state capital, thus yielding sustainable development to the region that concentrates the planet's largest biodiversity.